let's draw the hand wheel so we draw the profile then revolve create a new part document okay we sketch on the right plane draw a corner rectangle Dimension this one, 45 Draw a center line Dimension from here to here, make it 25 Let's draw a three point up. Three point up. Coincident with the line. Click and click. Use power trim to trim this portion away. Dimension this length. Then. the top here 16 okay we want to dimension 4 mm so we are going to dimension from the from the arc so we need to press shift and dimension the sketch is fully defined let's click the center line and then you go to feature revolve boss base so line 5 is the center line 360 degree no bad pardon there's a fillet of R5 so go to sketch add a fillet sketch fillet 5mm this corner and the other corner okay so fill added okay select this center line go feature tab revolve boss base 360 degree okay now we want to draw this profile on the right plane click right sketch no. normal to so we are going to draw a circle dimension this one twenty five draw a center line Draw another circle okay, A relation Okay, make this up and this up Equal So let's trim this part away. Trim this part away. Draw a line. Then change. Okay. Okay. Okay, draw a line. Click. 
Okay, let's uh, power trim. Click and drag. Click and drag. Okay, that's dimension 30. Again, you have to press the shift key. So we add the center line. Okay. Make sure it's vertical. Okay, let's dimension. Right click. Select midpoint and the center line and keep a di diameter of 170 and do and do one more time quick sketch right click select midpoint select this line drag to the right click 170 okay. one more dimension to go this edge to here 6mm ok let's select the center line here go to feature tab revolve boss base ok 360 degree ok now we need to draw this profile we are going to use strip command later so on the right plane sketch normal two. normal two. Okay, make the the model hidden line visible. Let's draw a center line to guide us. Center line again from here to here. Draw another center line from here to there. Okay, so we are going to draw this 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 profile. Go to line, click, okay, click here. So we are going to draw the angle and bring the cursor back. click again we draw uh, another up click and then join to the midpoint click ok let's create a relation between here and the up tangent I won't make clear the selection here. Click here, make this one horizontal, and now we have to dimension the the up radius twenty nine. Twenty nine. Fifty five mm from here to here. 
ยึดจิตไปโอเค now you completed this path for the sweep command. We have to draw the profile. So, so let get out of the sketch. So we are going to draw a profile here on the front plane. Click front sketch. Okay. Normal two. So we are going to draw a ellipse. Click here. Click here. Click here. Escape. So we need the dimension twelve and fourteen. Click this two point here. Twelve. the other two point make it 14 so our sketch is completed let's close the sketch Okay, let's go to feature type thread boss base. Okay, first you need to select the select the proper you sketch for. Next, we are going to select the sketch tree, which is the path. Okay, make it shaded. Okay, so now we have one. So now we want to pattern. So click here, circular pattern. Okay, display the Display the temporary axis. Select this axis. Okay. Number to pattern three equals spacing one sixty degree. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to have a revert. Uh, Fillet of 3 mm. So go to fillet. Three mm. Select this space. Okay. So the fillet is. Fillet is done. So next thing we have to do a chamfer of 4 and 2. So we go to under fillet chamfer command. Distance, distance. 4. Okay, select the edge here. Click OK. So, our model is completed. Thanks for watching the video.